good morning, good afternoon, good evening, how much depending on your location. Please join in this struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos, news updates. Nam the Kano will not interfere in your political ambitions. If being released, Avid assures Southeast politicians. Oh, yes, that's what is happening now. The members of the American military veterans of Igbo descent, Avid, in short form, who have been at the vanguard of demanding justice for the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazinam the Kano, since his extraordinary rendition in June 2021, have written a public letter to all Ndibo demanding their work collectively for the release of the IPOB leader. In the letter sent by Dr. Sylvester Onya and Dr. Gus Nobiagu, the President and, Secretary and the Secretary of AVID, respectively, the group said, Since it has become clear that the courts are incapable of dispensing justice in Kano's matter, Igbo leaders should meet with President Bola Tinubu to resolve the issue politically and release Mazinam the Kano. In the latter quote, it is time for all in the worldwide, individually and collectively to strongly and publicly demand the immediate release of Namdekano by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, since it has become crystal clear that the courts are incapable of dispensing justice or upholding the rule of law in this matter. In particular, we call on all Southeast leaders in elective positions at home and in Abuja, especially the five Southeast governors, to fulfill their several public promises and commitments to approach to approach President Tinubu to seek the release of Namde Kano. For this reason, we earnestly call on the Southeast governors forum to without further delay meet with President Bola Ahmed Tinubu on this matter. Any further delay could be construed as evidence that all Southeast governors are complicit in the continued incarceration of Namdekan. If it is true, as we have been told, that some Southeast politicians, particularly one of the governors, is blocking the release of Namdekan because of his fear that Kano will scuttle his ambition to become a vice president of Nigeria either in 2027 or beyond. We say to such politicians that a free Namda Kano will have neither the motivation nor the interest to block the ambition of any Igbo that wishes to be a vice president of Nigeria. And Avid is committed to seeing that no such interference will occur because we know that Namde Kano is apolitical and has no interest in engaging in who becomes what in Nigeria's political landscape. In the same vein, all Southeast leaders that come in contact with the heads of security agencies in Nigeria should impress on them to assure their seeming reliance on the continued detention of Namde Kano as a subterfuge for pardon security votes for South East, which they directly benefit from. We make bold to say that it is unconscionable for any true security chief driven by patriotism and respect for sanctity of human life to block the release of Namda Kano, knowing fully well that a free Kano is critical to ending the insecurity in South East once and for all. To the South East civil leaders, such as Ohaneze, traditional rulers, the clergy and frontline civil groups will say, if the South East Governors Forum proves unwilling to meet with President Tinubu in the coming days, we urge you all to promptly convene a group that will seek an immediate appointment to meet with President Tinubu to end this madness in our land. Given that Tinubu recently lost the President of Ohaneze, Chief Emmanuel Wadamu, we call on the Obi of Onesha, the Abogide, to convene a small group of eminent chiefs and the clergy that will lead the in meeting with President Tinubu. End of quote. Yes, this is what is happening now. The Avid, yes, they are saying, look, if you are a governor, you are not in the ambition to become a vice president. Because of that, 
you are blocking Mazi Namdi Kanu's release. The FBD said, look, we are assuring you, Mazi Namdi Kanu is a political law. He's not interested in politics in Nigeria. Oh, yes. Said, don't block again. Don't block. Stop blocking this release. Oh, yes. Say, don't block. He's not interested in your, in your politics. We are showing you. If he's released, he's not, he will not be even motivated in any way. There won't be any interest. Oh, yes. There will be any interest in the politics. That's what they are showing. Say, Mazam Kano is apolitical in its entirety. Nothing concerns him with Nigerian politics and politicking. So if you're a governor, like the one in Imo, he's been running Heta Skeeter using the resources of the state to lobby, you know, the Almajiris, the Almajiris in Abuja, lobbying them so that they will give a vice president, either in 2027 or beyond or whatever. If you look at him, he wants to become president or president or vice president or whatever. You see? That said, the one in Imo, the chief insecurity officer in Imo State. Also, didn't you? Yes. One in Heta Skeeter using resources of the state to lobby, lobby and margin, and margin. Yes, to give a vice president. So, whether he would chase the uh, demand from Bono State or where? The Boko Haram people, man from Bono State. Whether he would chase him or where, nobody knows. Yes, are you going to chase him away? So that's what we are saying. So now the the average are saying that if the set is governors, if they are delaying in this, say so that means the thing that people have been saying, you know, that they have been the ones responsible for the contribution of Mazam Khan is true. It's true. And they call on the traditional rulers to take up the responsibility. Of course they mentioned the Abogide, the Bia Phonesia. To take the lead. Well, yes. And they say the security agents in the South East, they are also playing a very bad role. Yes. So they rely on this uh, detention of Mazam Kano to make more money. They have said if they are patriotic, if because they are the first to accuse people of not being patriotic, but they are the ones who are not patriotic, these security agents. They have said if they are patriotic, they would have known that look. The release of Mazam Kano will be a, a solution to the unrest in the Southeast. And if they have sanctity for human life, they're not supposed to be relying or using Mazam Kano's case of detention to collect money from Southeast governors. Oh, yes, and that's what they have been doing. We have been saying it. The security agents, imagine. They don't want this thing to stop. They know that if you release Mazam Kano, the situation will abet in the Eastern region. They don't want it. They don't want this thing to happen. They want to be collecting money from Oso Denjo, from Governor Oti, from Governor Peter Mba of Enugu State, from Governor Wifro of Ebony. Yes, and from the Professor Governor in Anambra, Soludo. They want to be collecting money from these guys in millions of dollars. Oh, yes, they are doing security. Security. That's why if you say anything, they will advise them, no, don't release him. Don't release him. All these uh, military chiefs you are seeing. That's what I've been doing. We know them. They want it to continue so that they'll be on the road, collecting illegal tolls, extorting the government. Oh, yes. They extort the masses directly on the road. And they are, or Gakwata Pata will go to the office and they will extort these governors. Yes. They have been paying allowances, these guys on the road. Yes, on special assignments. They have been paid allowances, everyday allowance, for being on the field. We are, we, 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 we are being paid for road, where they are collecting illegal tolls. Still, they have been paid allowance. The Ogakwata will be collecting big, big money. Yes? That is what is happening. That's why, oh, we listen to them because they say, no, it's a security threat. They will go and tell you, but don't do that. It's a security risk. 